Hello and welcome back to Duke's Copy TV. Today I'm joined in the studio by Emmanuel Fragnier, a professor of risk management here in Geneva. Emmanuel, thank you so much for joining me today. Oh, thank you very much. No problem. Now today we're talking volatility. So how much of a risk is volatility in the financial services industry today? Yeah, the, the, the word volatility, so in mathematics it corresponds to the standard deviation, the square root of the variance, and this is really the main definition of risk. Um, in enterprise risk management, for instance, there's another definition. It, the risk equal the probability multiplied by the damage uh, done. So in terms of uh, uh, investment behavior, in a company, you're dealing with production risk, and it's a very directional way of investing. In finance, it's typically because it's linked to volatility, eh, the, the price moves of a, of, a, of a stock, it's really related to an in and out uh, behavior. And it's really the foundation of all uh, the risk models. I see. And are we seeing a big um, sort of stint of volatility at the moment? And will we see volatility subside anytime soon? Yeah, that, that's a good point. Uh, um, before we could say that we had like patterns attached to volatility with a concept in finance known as uh, a reversion to the mean. When prices would go up, you would know that at some point it, it would decrease get back to like an average. Um, today we don't have uh, these patterns uh, as obvious as, as it was before. So it's more like an accidental uh, volatility. And uh, yeah, I mean, volatility is a, was a good thing huh, to, to make that uh, investor would play on this market. But uh, today, I mean, uh, the logic is very different and you've got people that are very shy. We know that we've got a lot of liquidity that is on, on the shelf and, and never used. So yet, it, to me, it makes sense that at some point we would subsidize uh, this volatility like a clearing house, uh, uh, taking care of that in order that uh, the financial sector is replaying again that uh, intermediary role. Uh, between the investors and, and the companies. I see, so it's harder to read and harder to predict. Oh, very hard to read. Uh, I, I, w I think it would be extremely dangerous to try to make investment based on uh, volatility forecasts. I see. And just looking at the current economic crisis, have the tr conventional and the non-conventional forms of risk management, would you say they've worked? I wouldn't say, even if I'm a risk manager, I'm teaching risk management, um, I, I, I should say that these models have failed on a, on a global basis. Uh, very few banks have managed, in fact, to, to gain a lot of money based on these models. But uh, the main flow of these models is that uh, okay the mathematics related to the volatility criterion is well addressed but right from the beginning the liquidity risk uh, which is the risk that makes that banks are working together are creating that financial system was not taking into uh, taken into account uh, so uh, we say very often that this crisis is a systemic crisis and it's really because that liquidity risk component was not included in, in these models. So yes, I, w I would say that most of these models have failed uh, and, and, and it's, a real, it's a real pity. Well, Emmanuel, thank you so much for your insights today. Just lastly, mm -hmm. we're going to go on to our Duke's Copy question. Mm -hmm. So that's a question we ask all the guests that come into okay. the studio. So the question is, if you had one million US dollars to invest in the market for just one year, mm -hmm. where would you put it and why? And these are your options here. Um, it's difficult to, to choose. I'm a conservative. I've got a conservative risk appetite, as we were saying, and I would say probably real estate. But um, my point is that today 
the, the, the real relevant investment is in education for, for yourself and above all for, for our children. Well, thank you so much, Emmanuel, for those interesting insights today. Thank, thank you, you for coming you. in the Thank studio. you very much. That's all from us here in the Duke's Copy Studio, but make sure you click back to the website for more interviews and updates. Thank <laughs> you.